Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I'm going to talk to you about getting an optimised user.cfg for performance and a higher frame rate without sacrificing any critical game features. You are going to be sacrificing graphical quality and some post processes but nothing that's going to damage your gameplay. In fact, the idea of this is to improve your great gameplay, improve your frame rate and get a lot more system stability. A user.cfg can be used in Star Citizen to automatically set a variety of gameplay, graphics, system and hardware settings as the game launches, just automatically, and gives you a lot more control over the settings than the in-game menus would. Star Citizen Alpha 1.1.6 can be pretty taxing on the system, so I've put together a user.cfg file for pure speed, hopefully enabling users with slower systems to compete and users with higher end systems to get faster or at least a more stable experience. Also, with the newest launcher, the user.cfg path has changed, so I'm going to go through all of that as well. So, you need to place your user.cfg, whether you've created one or you're using someone else's, into your install directory for Star Citizen. So, find out where you've installed it. By default, I think it's C program files, and then Cloud Imperium Games, then go into Star Citizen, then go into Public. Your user.cfg will live in public, so you can either drag and drop someone else's in here, a pre-made one, or you can make your own. To make your own, you need to right-click New, then Dex Document, uh, name it user for now. And I'm going to go into that. And I'm going to paste any data I want into that or write it myself. And as soon as you've written that, you want to file, save as, all files, and then file name user.cfg. And that will save that as a configuration file. Uh, and then you can delete the old text document. Bam. So, assuming you're using myuser.cfg for extra frames, uh, there's some settings you might want to change and set in it. And I've um, tried to label them relatively clearly. It's just these, these ones at the top. So, um, it's texture stream pool size. I've set mine to 512. Now, um, explains here what you need to do. But basically, um, if you've got more than a 4 gig graphics card, 4 gigs of RAM on your graphics card, then you want to set it to about 2 gigs. And if you've got under 2 gigs, um, then you want to set it to 384. Um, but 512 is a perfectly good number. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it at 512. Um, max frames. So this is max frame setting. This can be changed um, or entirely removed. You can totally delete this if you don't know what you want as your max frames. Um, that will give you a higher max frame rate or at least your maximum frame rate, but it might be a bit erratic. Um, whereas I like a stable 60 frames all of the time. So I've set mine to 60. Some people with slower PCs want to set that probably to 30, so they've got a stable 30. Um, if you've got an incredibly fast PC, set it to your monitor's refresh rate. That will normally be between 60 and 144. Um, so if you're unsure, leave it. If you kind of know what you're doing, you can either delete it or set it to your refresh rate. V-Sync. Now, if you have no issues with screen tearing, leave this alone. But if you're getting screen tearing, so literally it will look like uh, the two images are offset um, as you turn and that sort of stuff. Um, I'll try and put a picture up of screen tearing so you know what that is. Um, then you want to set this to one if you're getting screen tearing issues. And the last setting that you might want to change is um, gamma. So you can change this in the in-game options menu. I've set this to, to default by 1.2 because I feel that the default settings are a little bit too low um, and it's just a nice scanner setting. It gives you a nice little extra bit of brightness. So the rest of these settings will basically lower graphics quality and post processes and uh, a few other stuff that you don't need in the game to be able to play it. Um, I, some people are going to say that uh, their level of detail is important for them getting pot shots and long range shots. Well, yes, but you, you're going to be sacrificing on frames. So if you've got a super fast computer um, or you're happy with your frame rate, then this isn't for you. If you want a higher frame rate and you don't mind sacrificing on, on graphics quality, then this is great. The other major way to improve performance and frame rate is to lower your in-game resolution. Now, some users may be loath to do this. Um, I know I am. 1920 by 1080 is my staple now. Um, but I'm using this user.cfg occasionally when I want... Um, really high frame rate when I'm trying out um, new guns or if I'm playing in a, a PvP match. I'll probably use this just so I, I've got a nice stable frame rate so I can win more. <laughs> but 
but users with lower end systems, you can do both. Lower your resolution um, to a bearable level and use this user.cfg. And it is as simple as that. I will update for more and better settings in the description and on my website as I find them. We will do a super high quality pretty citizen at some point as well, showing you how to um, get scale up to 4K, uh, as well as getting the best possible settings out of the Cry Engine uh, so you can get extra pretty Star Citizen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. That's really appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.